Welcome, Sagittarius Capricorn, to your October spiritual reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, as you can see, we have the Sacred Traveler deck, which is new. Okay, going on a new journey over here. Okay, and literally on a journey, so trying to keep it creative, trying to keep it fun. I also got my new coffee cup in for those of you who would like to support the channel. I do have these in. This is the Gold Wildfire um, Tarot um, coffee cup. There are other ones in there for chakras and uh, zodiac signs and crest signs as well. Okay, so if you're interested in that, um, the link is in the description. Okay, friends. I love it. At the back it says GWF, so I know it's myself. So since the gold wildfire is so small, but, but I love it. Love it, love it. And it does come in different colors, so you don't have to have gray. Okay, friends, let's get straight into here and see what's going on with you, my beautiful Sagittarius Capricorns. Okay, going straight to the block. We have the block in the front, and then next will be the healing of the block, and of course the outcome. Okay, so what's blocking you is crossing bridges. There's a card I have not had yet. And <clears throat> to heal this, you will need a little bit of solitude to get to a passion and pleasure. Wow. Okay, save your life. So this is, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So to do this, you're going to need to take some solitude, some time out for yourself. Um, and then this will give you the passion and the pleasure, which is savor your life, right? Putting you right back into the um, energy that you need to be in. Okay. So you <laughs> are blocking yourself from crossing this bridge over here. So you can kind of see this as a storyline. Okay. Something kind of like out of Disney or something. Um, I keep saying the Wizard of Oz because it kind of reminds me of a, a real journey. Um, so you need to unblock yourself and stop standing at the top of the bridge. Get over the bridge. Get it. Once you cross the bridge, you're going to go straight into solitude. So it's kind of like crossing this bridge into these trees over here. And this is where you're going to find your solitude. And then you can come out of the trees, out of solitude. And look, there's a big party inside the trees just like right there, right? Right on the other side of the other tree um, is this beautiful party for you. <clears throat> okay, so since I haven't had any of these cards that I know of, I think the solitude I may have, not sure. Okay, so you're gonna cross this bridge and of course you're going with your sacred traveler. Your sacred traveler is your spirit guide, your higher self, um, your soul, however you wanna see it. And the traveler is yourself, okay? So, crossing bridges. The card is saying crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new life cycle. Yeah, new cycle in life, new life cycle, however you want to see it. A heartfelt change is ahead, and it's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make these amends, and then let it all go. If there's anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile with it. You may even need to burn your bridges behind you. Ooh, sometimes you need to do that though, don't we? Heal the rifts within yourself and help others transverse bridges in their lives. But you're going to find that as you go into solitude, how to do so, right? Because that's where the healing is going to start. That's where you're going to start healing the rifts. Okay, so your sacred traveler wants you to know when you, the traveler, crosses the bridge, a new land awaits. Well, we know where that is. It's way over there. <laughs> on the other side. Like I said, it's on the other side. Okay. You are ready to cross the bridge. Okay. In your life, this is that gap, right? That's what they're considering the gap of your life. There is a time 
when you need to make steps away from certain people or situations. So you need to walk away from certain things. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places, and then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive, let it go, do it now. You no longer need to carry this backpack with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or just release completely. You know, you know what you need to do. And then this is the time, my friends, to do it. Okay, so that's what your soul wants you to know. Your spirit guide, however you want to see this. Okay, so different for everyone, and that is just fine. Okay, so it's time to let these things go. You need to let the past go. That's, we're just going to leave it there. Everybody knows what their situation is. A thousand different situations. Yes, because you're just hanging around. You are not doing anything. You're just hanging there, tied up to a tree, upside down, not doing anything. Totally ignoring the situation. Don't want to do it. And this is not justified for you, your soul, your sacred traveler, any of the above. Um, for your life period. Um, this is imbalance. It keeps you hanging in balance. See, that keeps you hanging in balance. So, there's no balance to this. This does not help you. Okay, so go ahead and let it go. Send card coming out for yourself. Free yourself for your own happiness and your own good. Okay. You could be freeing yourself from a Pisces. Oh my gosh, a Libra or a Leo. Okay. However it is, free yourself. Going straight over here to the solitude. Well, we already know. I'm not even going to read the card because it already said, go heal yourself. Find the peace within yourself. Meditate, do what it needs to say, and that's the same thing. So we already know exactly what that means. They are so beautifully connected to... This is a beautiful connection right here of this journey because really this card pretty much told us everything here, right? It said, go find your peace. Here you are to find the land on the other side, and there it is. So, wow. So you have the three of swords. You're going to go inside so that you can release the hurt, the pain, the fear, the things that you've been holding on to that have sorted you. Releasing it and separating yourself from it. And with knowledge, because she has an owl on her, so you're not going to just do this, you know, 100% logically. This is going to be deep within wisdom with the owl. And this is going to cause self-growth, clarity, healing, and all those beautiful things that come through self-growth. You are going to find that within you. And you're going to be more clear about what's going on. You're going to have the inspiration to want to let it go because you're going to be more clear about the situation. Say, you know what, maybe I have been holding on to this too long. Maybe this is what's holding me back. Maybe this is why I can't have a good relationship because I keep keeping on to this hurt and this pain. And it keeps coming with me every relationship. And then, you know, sometimes you guys... I'm going to stay right here with this red flag. I just kind of see it because they're kind of sitting next to each other. When you're dating, this is for those of you who are holding on to old past hurts of relationships. And it seems like, how come, you know, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, right? Well, it's because you're also looking for red flags for that person to continue to hurt you. You're looking for those things, those things. I mean, do you ever find yourself, like, when you're, you're dating someone, you might ask them a question like, you know, the same kind of question, like, this person over here hurt you, and so you're putting this new person in their shoes, and you're kind of asking them, like, you know, do I get morning, you know, let's say, I don't know, it's going to be the weirdest thing I ever said, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> let's say that the ex never gave you a morning kiss before you went to work. And you always try to get one, but they never would. And it really hurt. Like, I always just wanted a morning kiss before I went to work. And they would never do this, you know? 
Um, and then so you're asking this other person, well, are you going to give me morning kisses before I go to work? That kind of stuff. Okay. Take it how it resonates. It could be, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying. And you're looking for those same hurts and pains that this other person did in this other person. And then this other person's kind of like, well, of course I'm going to give you hugs and kisses before you go to work. Why wouldn't I? And then it just starts there. And now it's going to be like, you know, this. Are you going to be mad at me if I leave my shoes out over here? You know, and then they'll be like, no, I'm not. And it's almost like you're so worried about all these things that your ex did that you're putting all this weight onto this new person because you're worried that they're going to be the same, but they're nowhere near the same, right? Maybe you're redealing with a Libra and now you're trying to deal with a Leo. Those are two different types of people, right? Nowhere even near each other. And, but you're always looking for these red flags. It's going to kill your relationship because you keep looking for all these unjustified things, right? Or maybe you can't get close to someone because you can't open your heart because of the pains of what somebody else did. So you're not giving the other person a chance. So what they're trying to say is cross that bridge. Keep that dead. These new people are not that person. Stop looking for these hurts and these pains. So you're going to get inside and have the clarity of, you know what? Not everybody is the same, right? They don't all do the same things, right? Take it how it resonates. It could be a job. It could be this. It could be that. It could be anything. I was just using that as, as an example. It could be a very strange example, but it doesn't really matter. You know, it is what it is. But I'm just saying that's what's keeping you kind of tied down to not cross this bridge is because you're holding on to all these past pains of what if, and I just keep thinking with this, this red flag, what if this, what if that, what if they end up doing this, what if they end up cheating on me, cheating on me, what if I, you know, I've been with two different people in Libra and in Pisces, they cheated on me and they cheated on me, so I can't, you know, you see what I'm saying, and so you can't get past that, and now they're telling you, don't just give up because they keep doing these things. You know, and it doesn't mean completely get rid of your red flags either. Of course, you're, you know, you're always going to be a little weary, you know, but you're going to wake up to a different idea. Yeah, there's hope. Putting the clarity together is going to give you hope. It's going to make you hopeful. It's going to burn that bridge. If you had a fight with your cousin and you can't let it go, now it's going to be more hopeful that you can say, you know what, I'm going to burn that bridge down. And I don't mean just burn bridges with people. I mean burn the bridge down to where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about what happened in the past with you, cousin. Because you know what? It's done and it's over with. And I've killed it and it's dead. And I'm going to go forward because this is going to bring happiness. Okay? And whether or not you're going to reconcile with this cousin or this person or whoever it is, it doesn't matter because it's going to bring you the joy back within yourself. You might say, you know, cousin, we can't get along anymore. I'm sorry. We just cannot... Um, you know, I will always love you, blah, 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 you know, but we cannot be friends, right? Or maybe you reconciliate with them and say, you know what? I've burned that bridge. Um, yeah, you know, you took $20 from me, never paid me back. And you know what? I'm done with it. I don't even care about it anymore. Let's just be happy and be cousins again. Something like this, right? And you're going to have this re realization. This is going to now bring you as you're healing from all these past wounds, take it how it resonates, it's different for everybody, you're into the passion, you now are going to get out and say, you know what, I've refreshed myself, I feel much better, um, I have hope and clarity and understanding that I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to walk right over here behind this other couple of trees and find this passion and pleasure within my own life, and this is where I'm going to have a new belief, I'm going to feel free, I'm going to have this different relationship with myself, my higher self, maybe with my, my cousin, my friends, my boyfriend, find a relationship that's meanwhile for me, having the understanding of how to do so. And there's that passion, bam, four of wands coming up, another you know, hope and passion for all of this reconnection through faith over here with the higher faith and belief, right? Having new beliefs because of the clarity, right? Because you did the soul search, you grew. Oh my gosh, because you did the healing and you're still healing.
starry-eyed about the way you're seeing things now with the Ace of Wands. Wow. Now you got two Aces coming in with the Ace of Wands taking action in new directions, crossing the bridge, getting past all of this, and moving forward into the new beginning and not living in the past, whether it's with this person, the situation, whatever it is. Finding new sacred travels. New sacred travels with the sacred tra traveler, you and your your higher self, your spirit guide, all of these things, you guys can see the world differently and go travel into new areas of your life and actually savoring your life, which is amazing. Because it's going to see, you're going to see the world in a different way. You're going to see it as a whole new, um, like a whole new world. And definitely within your power over here, um, taking on this Sagittarius um, power, fire, taking on the challenge, taking on the adventure, seeing life so differently, feeling like yourself again, and then having that grounding and that passion over here with the Four of Wands, which is a beautiful Sagittarius Capricorn cusp card. So that's 100% Four of Wands in your energy, feeling the passion, Feeling the grounding, right? You're grounded with the four. Four is ground. That's earth. That's feeling grounded and feeling like you can make the home you want and feeling your roots around you and just knowing that's exactly where you need to be. Finding your roots again. And having the... Um, enthusiasm to want to move forward into the passion, the enthusiasm, the energy to want to have this new, um, pretty much kind of like outlook and world around you. Because when you kind of wake up from the past, you notice that that cloud is gone. You're not thinking about that anymore, right? So you're kind of seeing things in a different light. Okay, so getting a, a beautiful healing and inspiration card over here for you. Uh oh, these cards are so big. They just make everything go flying across. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. So, what is the best message for such cap over here? I actually got two cards here. You guys got meditation is going to help you bring through this, and that's going to be great for the solitude. How wonderful is that? So this one can kind of go here because as you're meditating, you're going to be um, doing that self-growth and that spiritual growth um, and having those realizations through this solitude. And then over here, you're going to breathe. How beautiful is that? Taking a new fresh breath of air. And that's how it kind of feels like over here, right? So breathing. 22 is breathing. So it says, when negativity surrounds you, create a space where you can take a few minutes to revive yourself and gain the rationality back. Close your eyes and take a slow, deliberate breath. Wow, these are two beautiful cards sitting over here on this solitude. This is how you're going to heal. Oh, how beautiful. Okay. Visualize love and positivity surrounding you. The positive energy coming to you with each breath in. Imagine you are releasing fear and negative every time you exhale. Take a moment now to practice breathing techniques. This can help you feel replenished. With effort, try to make your breath a little bit longer and a little bit deeper each time. Longer and deeper breaths have a different effect and a direct effect on your nervous system. Huh. It is human to take shallow breaths when you are in a tense situation. Feel how much healing you can experience by being mindful of how you are breathing. Wow. I didn't know that, you guys, so I'm learning with you. Okay. Now, we have this beautiful picture, and I just want to show you this really fast, but these dolphins over here. Okay, we have dolphins and we have mermaids. Okay, it's really kind of hard to see. Let me see. Where are the mermaids? I'm kind of blind here. It says we have mermaids. 
Oh, she is a mermaid. Oh my god. Okay, so she is a mermaid. Wow. I didn't even catch that. This is her hair and this is her arm. Okay. That's okay, you guys. I was blind there. <laughs> okay, so it says mermaids and mammals in the ocean must surface to take a breath. This card comes as a perfectly timed reminder for you to stop for breath. When you learn to take long, slow, deep breaths, it takes it takes on a new quality. You will be more able to appreciate the beauty around you. The mermaid reaches for the surface of the ocean, just as you reach to break the surface of old patterns. That's me getting rid of that old. You can transform an aspect of your life by slowing down and breathing deeply. Wow. Sorry guys, I didn't even know she was a mermaid. I was blind there for a minute. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> meditation, we all know about the meditation and how it's going to affect us. It's gonna give us that time out that we need, okay, to get back to ourselves, right, and our higher selves. So these are beautiful techniques to help you release and grow, okay, and keep yourself, um, when that fire comes up and this person, like, you know, I'm trying to get rid of this and you're holding me down or whatever it is, breathe, right, breathe. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.